What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. So we have my first update on the AMT 1949 Mercury, and this is the aftermarket Jimmy Flintstone body. If you saw my video, my introduction video, uh, my plans are in this build. You kind of know what's going on, kind of. But we just want to show you some stuff because um, we got everything all cleaned up, and it's pretty much ready for primer and paint this weekend. Uh, maybe this weekend, hopefully. So, looking really good, and it kind of got mocked up right here in front of you to show you what I kind of, I'm kind of going forward for this build. The stance kind of, and all that good stuff. So, looks really good, the body's pretty much all cleaned up, and um, we probably just, we just had to give it a nice wash, but then we'll put it in primer this weekend, hopefully, or maybe t today, actually, today is Friday. So, very cool. And so the stance, this is kind of the stance we're going for. Uh, I might want to raise up just a tad bit because I do have these uh, side pipes going on here and it, they don't really fit. So, um, but this is kind of the stance we're going for. So we're going in between here. So if I, it'll be raised up just a tad bit more. So these exhaust pipes can fit under there. But uh, that's pretty much what we're looking at. So yes, these are 3D printed exhaust pipes. So very cool. We have the three pipes at the end, and then that's gonna look really cool. So, very neat. And then, uh, for the engine in this thing, uh, if you remember, we, I, I am putting in a cobalt engine. So, we got all the parts. I'm not going to aim it together because I do want everything to be a different, different color. Uh, the engine black will probably do for the engine blue, and then the uh, heads will probably do like aluminum, and then the valve covers on these. Corporate engines are black, so is the filter black, oil pan. We could be, we could do the oil pan in black or blue, who knows? Uh, and then the transmission, uh, we're doing aluminum. We're doing a manual transmission, so very cool. And then yeah, looks really good. So let's go ahead and kind of take it apart. We got it kind of mocked up here. We got some glue dots on the wheels because they won't stay up straight because they're very skinny wheels. So, very cool. So here is the body. You do got the bottom portion uh, glued up. You do have the two different choices. You do have this one or you do have uh, this one. Depends what kind of grill you're using. But for the grill we're using, we're gonna be using this kind of uh, bottom lip, you wanna call it. So we got that mocked up. We're not mocked up, but you know, glued into place, super glued. Got it sanded so we shouldn't have any seen there. And then this is the grill we're using. Uh, like a teeth, you know, Grill. This is this is not this does, it does not come in the kit. This grill. Um, so I have 3D printed it, and that's gonna look really good in there. Yeah, that's gonna look super good and really nice in there. So very cool. Might do that in chrome. So very neat. So we got that going. But yeah, the rest of the body was really nice. Jimmy Flintstone body. You got all the panel lines scribed out, especially on this gas tank. That gas tank was very shallow, so we got that scribed out. So very neat. And I did shave, I did uh, sand off or shave off, if you want to call it, uh, the door handles because I do, I do want this to have a door handle list or a free zone uh, for that custom look. So very cool because a lot of these, you know, cars, you know, not cars, but you know, a lot of these like modified mu old muscle cars, they have like a remote to open the door for them. So that's what we kind of advocated. So it is door handle list free. Uh, we're not doing any mirrors either because a lot of these 49 Mercury's, you know, chop like this. Um, you know, they have no mirrors, so it's just a nice, clean, slick, you know, chopped body and just gives it, you know, no mirrors, no door handles, nothing like that. And just kind of gives it a nice, slick look. So, very cool. I could have taken these off, but I kind of want to keep them on there because it gives it that cool, like, um, you know, like sort of like stockish kind of look to it, along with the chrome trim. If you do like these crazy custom modified, you know, Foya Mercury's, this chrome is missing, this is missing. Um, but, you know, it can be a little bit different, especially this going to NNL East. I'm sure a lot of people who are going to NNL East, NNL East, um, because that's the second theme. I'm sure a lot of people are going to be having the Revell version, which does not have this and does not have the chrome trim. So, I kind of want this one to be a little bit different and kind of stand out by itself. Uh, so. Very cool. And then, of course, we do got the hood. I got the, all the I shaved off all the emblems and the trim that goes in the middle because I don't really want that. So, just sand that all off. And then we got the hood uh, pretty much fitting pretty good. So, 
yeah, very cool. So I'm happy with the hood. We got a trunk here. Trunk, again, same deal. Fits very good. Then, yeah, that's gonna look really good in there. So we'll keep that separate and you know, had that hinge on there. So very cool. So that's pretty all set. Uh, we just have that mask off the windows and make our window trim, but we can do that after paint. Not too big a deal. The bumpers, um, these are the bumpers that we're gonna go with. Uh, we're going to go with these are some parts box bumpers. I'm not sure what kit these come kit these came off from, but I have my parts bin uh, because since we're doing this custom, you know, look to it that custom teeth grill and all that good stuff. Uh, because you know the AMT one, you're doing more like a, well, no more. You're basically doing a stock version of the Freedom Mercury because this kit uh, has a normal size, you know, non chopped body. You know, it has you know the stock engine. And of course, you got the stock bumpers. This bumper could work, but I don't know. I think with the uh, this custom grill, I think this bumper will look nice. So it does fit on there very good. Of course, it test fit it, and you know, just gotta line it up. And then yeah, that that's a front bumper, and then of course, it's the rear bumper. Again, this fits very, very good as well. So yeah, very cool. Happy about that. So we're gonna be doing some nice slick bumpers. And then, of course, you saw these are the wheels we're using. So these are some Mercury wheels. It says Mercury on the hubcap. So very cool. So we got those going. I do have five of those because we have a spare wheel that can go in the back. So very neat. But other than that, that's pretty much about it. I did ship all the chrome for the suspension stuff. Well, as much as possible. This chrome is kind of, it's kind of nasty, this chrome. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. Uh, primer is going to cover it up and paint, so, but yeah, this chrome is, it, it, it really, it's really something. And then these are the headlights, and these are going to fit in there, like, so, so, very cool. But other than that, that's pretty much about it. Um, that's, yeah, so the interior color, I'm not sure about the interior color. We'll probably just do, I'm thinking of doing like a really dark red, or maybe just black, I'm not sure, because if you saw... We are doing uh, these colors. So the main body color is going to be white. And then uh, this very poppy orange is going to be the stripes. And just kind of loops around. So yeah, front portion will be stripes with the orange. And then the rest of the body color will be uh, just white. And then we'll 2K clear it. And that's going to look really good at the end. So very cool. So that's pretty much where we're at so far. Next time you're going to see this, will definitely be... And paint all good stuff. We'll have a painting a couple of painting videos here and there because a lot of you guys do make me uh you know doing those painting videos. I enjoy editing them, uh, you know, making the videos, editing them and stuff. I think they're all fun for me to edit, and I know a lot of you guys like to enjoy those videos. So very cool. Head those up probably next week, hopefully, or maybe this weekend, who knows? But alright guys, that's it for this video. And until next video, we'll catch you next time. Take it easy.